Zurich from Still Blonde after all these years and we're having our second attempt today at Specialty Food Sunday. Um, one of my readers jumped online and told me that the video was sideways which is kind of strange because they said you could film it either way but um, I've turned it this way such that I'm hoping um, that it's right side up and Walt and I went to the specialty food, uh, it's actually called the Fancy Food Show, about two weeks ago. And we um, sure enjoyed ourselves. Uh, we stayed in Harlem. And we've been sent a lot of products up front of the show. We got quite a few products at the show. And we also um, are getting products now after the show. So we're really wanting to bring these to you and let you know um, about all these great new specialty foods that are coming down the pike. So I'm going to start out with um, this beautiful uh, tuna product. It's from Tonino Ventresca. I'm sure I'm murdering that, but um, it's available at supermarkets in your area. It comes in a box like this, so it's very classy, really great for a gift. And you can then pop it out. I've already opened it because I tasted it and it was amazing. Um, tuna and olive oil and I served it on crackers. You could also put it in a salad. Uh, it's um, uh, great on pasta. You can also just eat it right off the spoon. Um, so I would recommend this and it's, let's see, there, there, there um, is also olive oil chunks, tuna chunks with capers, tuna chunks with oregano, and tuna ventresca with jalapeno. So those are some different ones. I see there's a couple people watching. Jump on and say hi. I'd love to talk to you and see what questions you might have about specialty foods. Now I served these, this tuna on these Beecher crackers. These Beecher crackers are from the Flatiron District in New York City and they're absolutely amazing. Um, they're kind of neat because they're a very wide cracker, so you could do a really substantial hors d'oeuvre on them. If you see them at the, at the store, I just would so much recommend picking them up. This is the original cracker, and then I also managed to scarf down the flagship crackers, which are um, cheese. So even though both of them are cheese-based, this one's very, very cheddar-based. Um, okay. Now, this I did not get from the show. You can pick this up at your uh, local Myers or uh, any uh, store that has uh, croutons, that sort of thing. It's from Fresh Gourmet, and it's called Tortilla Strips. strips. It's especially fun to get at the um, patriotic holidays and serve on a salad to make your salad look a little bit more patriotic itself. But they're really very good. They... Other than, other than the colored ones, they also come in these, um, they also come in different flavors and different colorings. Um, see, they're just like little strips. All right, so I'd recommend those. Fresh Gourmet Tortilla Strips Tricolor. Crunchy toppings for salads. All right, the next thing we have here, oh my gosh, guys, get out a pencil, write this down, take a, take a screenshot. These are amazing. These are McCree's Caramels. And um, we were sent these prior to the show, and when I saw them at the show, I was able to talk to them some more and get some more insight on their uh, particular products. But first of all, just look at this packaging. Um, it's just beautiful. It's just very substantial, nice feel, great for a gift, great stocking stuffer. When you open it up, there's this cute little surprise ring around the outside and the caramels are all packaged inside. One thing I love about these caramels is even though they're really gooey, when you open them up, they you think they're going to stick to the paper, but nope, they don't. They just pop right off and go right into your mouth. Now, I'm not going to do that right now because I'll spend the next minute chewing them. But they sent us along these um, black lava sea salt ones. That flavor was divine. They also sent along their Cafe Noir, um, which is basically a coffee drink uh, flavored caramel. 
and they were very, very distinctly the flavors that they said. Now this is an exciting one. This is an array of all their caramels, all packaged into one container. So uh, I can really recommend these just for your reference. A serving size is three to four pieces and that's 116 calories. So that's not bad if you just, you know, eat a few. Anybody want to jump in and say hi? I'd be glad to um, talk with you today and uh, answer any of your questions. The next thing we got is Big League Fruit Shreds. It's modeled to look like, you know, um, toba chewing tobacco. It even has a baseball player on the front of it. But instead of being chewing tobacco, it's this amazing fruit, just like dried fruit. This particular one is raspberry, as you can see. Um, and it comes in little shreds. And it's 100% fruit, fruit with no artificial colors and no preservatives. And as they say, it's very, very good. Um, I really liked it, and I could see taking this just in a snack bag. So anybody have any questions? I'd be glad to answer them. Now, we've talked about this product before. Uh, Vicky's Granola, uh, really great, surprisingly not overly sweet, which you think could be a criticism, but it's really not. It's very, very uh, wonderful taste, and it doesn't have that clawing sweetness that so often happens with um, granolas. It's just a, a perfect combination, no preservatives, sodium-free, zero grams of trans fat, whole grain, gluten-free, kosher, dairy-free, high energy, and naturally sweetened. And that's one thing we noticed over and over and over at the food show, is that everything seemed to be trending towards, um, you know, fewer ingredients and kosher and just, you know, as, as good for you as it could possibly be. And when we started talking to you, that's the first thing they emphasized. So even over taste, they were talking about these elements. Maybe they just assumed that the taste was good. But the neat thing about Vicky's is now they've come out with snack pack sizes. And um, I think that's really great because you can just pitch these into a kid's lunch or your, your lunch. Um, they're 220 calories each, which I feel is a little high. But given that you're not eating um, a lot of things that are bad for you, you know, very filling and something that will last throughout the afternoon if you have it in your lunch. Okay, now we uh, have Sheila G's Brownie Brittle. Now, Brownie Brittle is a very interesting product, and it has been around for a couple of years, but this new version is organic. This one happens to be the pretzel and dark chocolate, and it's very thin. I think it's like five or seven pieces um, equals 120 calories, so you really get a lot of product, a lot of fun to eat for a very low calorie count. Um, when you eat it, it tastes like... Um, when you have the top of the brownie, you know, where it's all crusty and, and just a little bit gooey, that's what this tastes like. The organic, to me, I think was a little crunchier than the regular, um, and it took a while to get used to, as opposed to the, um, the regular brownie brittle. Um, I've got to admit I like the regular brownie brittle better, but for people who prefer organic, this is a great option. Not only does it come in pretzel and dark chocolate, but um, it comes in chocolate and toasted coconut. This was my favorite out of the three new brands. And chocolate chip. So uh, those are the three new flavors of brownie brittle. Um, I know that you can get the regular brownie brittle at Costco. I assume that these size bags would be uh, available at any specialty or major store. Okay, great. Well, now we're down to a couple of... Um, protein bars. I guess you could call these protein bars. Um, these particular ones are, now I'm sorry I'm showing you all empty wrappers, but I ate them, okay? I really did eat them so that I can talk about them. These are called Oat Mega, and there's 14 grams of protein in each one, and each one has about, so let's see, um, 190 calories, which isn't bad for a protein bar. Most protein bars are a lot higher than that in, um, in uh, calories. And there is 
let's see, 50 calories of fat. So um, I think the protein content is pretty high, and these were excellent. I really think most protein bars are disgusting. I don't really like them. I don't usually like to eat them. Um, I find them high in calorie and low in taste. These particular ones are wonderful, and they come in absolutely super, superb flavors. This first one was Lemon Chia Crisp. Chia was another, um, um, I guess chia is a seed or a, a grain, but you saw it everywhere at the show, everywhere. Chia, 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 chia milk, chia flour, chia, you know, chia everything. So watch for that because that's coming out strong in foods coming up. Um, there's brownie crisp. And, oh my gosh, this is my favorite, white chocolate raspberry. And this was just so good. But still, 190 calories and only 50 grams, 50 calories of fat, of uh, fat calories. So, um, I love these Oat Mega Grass Fred Whey Nutrition Snacks. Um, it says, food not pills. We include 300 milligrams of Omega 3S in uh, each bar. So that's what you're getting in this particular bar. Okay, so uh, we have another item which I purchased myself. And this was a sea salt, sea salt truffle that I got at Whole Foods. It was right by the checkout. And it was um, uh, in a big oak barrel. And it's by oh, Alter Ego. Um, it was terrible. Just terrible. <laughs> um, I would not recommend them when you're at uh, Whole Foods and you're thinking about a little snack. Don't grab this at the checkout because it wasn't very good. Um, I don't know if it had, had gotten old or it just, um, you know, just wasn't that good to begin with. But I was not impressed. Okay, so the last thing for today is Jody's Gourmet Popcorn Double Cheddar. And we got this at the show, and they call it uh, artisanal popcorn. Now, I don't know what made it artisanal, but it was really good. Um, definitely better than the, you know, cheddar popcorn that you get at the 7-Eleven. You could taste the quality. The popcorn tasted really fresh. And, and it's referred to as gourmet popcorn, and it's all natural and gluten-free. So it's made in Virginia Beach. And it's 160 calories for half the, half the bag. So that's our um, specialty foods for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you have any questions, I see there's like, um, you know, a good number of you watching. I'd love to answer any questions you have. Or later on, if you have any comments to put down below, um, we... Definitely are reviewing more products. If there's information that I left out that you would like to um, know, I'll make sure to include that. One thing I, I realized that I didn't do is I didn't put the prices. And I think that's helpful sometimes to know the prices of the products. So that's I'll try to do that um, when I finish up this video. I'll put it in the links down below. Um, but next time I'll try to include that when I'm talking. So this is Shelly Zurich from Still Blonde after all these years um, from my living room. And uh, let me know, is the lighting okay? Can you hear me all right? Um, we're just, you know, trying to get started on this, find the best location. Sometimes I think in the kitchen might be the best. But um, please uh, give us a thumbs up if you're watching this on YouTube or a like or share if you're watching this on Facebook Live. Um, Take care, and we'll see you next Sunday or before with more specialty foods.